All right, people, here is the deck profiles. There's going to actually be two deck profiles in this video for Zushin's. Uh, yeah, out of all the decks that were on this previous month, I'd say Zushin was probably my least favorite because it was just Resident Sleeper. Like, it's a Saki deck. It really is. It, I mean, I, I might as well be playing Exodia. At least if I play Exodia, I just auto-win. Even if I summon Zushin, doesn't mean that I'm going to win just because uh, my opponent could just start summoning monsters in defense mode and possibly stomp me out depending on how many cards I have left in my deck. But, uh... That is my phone going off. Shut up, phone. But, uh, it was just boring. You know, it got to the point where I just quit. I quit when it came to doing it. I got dirty with it. I tagged when it was supposed to be on a non-tag deck. Just so I could get some entertainment out of it. I, I was just falling asleep. And I know I was boring my opponent as well. I didn't care what my opponent was playing. I wasn't interacting. I was just in there, you know, playing with myself. Just freaking jacking it on fucking YouTube for everyone to fucking see playing Zushin, and I did not have a great time with this. I thought maybe there was going to be something interesting. I mean, you summon him, and you pretty much win. Like, there's there's not a lot of things that you can get over this. Unless your opponent is, like, main decking some fucking kaijus. They can't get over this, you know? Not even Utopia the Lightning, because I know some people... I, I At first, I was like, oh, Utopia the Lightning can fuck it up. No, he can't. Because uh, uh, Zushin's still going to... Uh, he doesn't activate, so Utopia the Lightning will go up to 5,000. Zushin will just always, the continuous effect, he'll just go, always be 1,000 higher. So he'll go up to 6,000 and smack you, Utopia the Lightning. So, yeah. So, uh, of course, he's unaffected by all card effects. So if you want to storm for us, no, he's unaffected by that. So pretty much Kaiju or Bust. So the uh, majority of the time you summon this, you win. It's as simple as that. But uh, it just, it's just boring because he's really, really difficult to, to get out. Like, extremely difficult. So we got pretty much have two ways to get him out. Uh, and have him be decently summoned well, so I'm gonna go through each deck profile, both deck profiles, and show you both ways, but they're both just Resident Sleeper. So, here we have Zushin Monarch. So, the, the gist of this deck is to pretty much summon Zushin with, uh, uh, a Wild Monster appears, and then use Escalation during your opponent's main phase to tribute him off to summon the Tyrant Neptune, who will then gain Zushin's effect, because, uh, you cannot before, you know, this will go off and we return Zushin back to the deck. Yes, he, despite being unaffected by card effect, he is still affected by the Wild Monster appear, so he will go back to the deck during uh, the end of your opponent's next turn. So, mm. so of course, triple Zushin, triple Neptune, triple Bolt from Blue, and triple Escalation of Monarch. That's pretty much the core of the deck. That's what you want. You need those four cards. You get those four cards, you got it, you know? You just got to make sure that your Escalation stays, activate it during your main phase. Uh, see so if you want to activate the effect. Yes, tribute off Zushin. Summon Neptune. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Neptune will go off and then gain the effect of Zushin. So he's kind of like Zushin in spirit in that sense. Uh, it, it takes a lot of setup. It's kind of... But hey, I mean, if you get it, you win. So uh, then we run Aether and uh, Karaz. Uh, I don't like Karaz that much because, of course, you're breaking... Uh, rule number one and two of Yu-Gi-Oh when you use Karaz on your opponent's shit. But uh, mostly you're just going to use it on your shit, you know? You just go ahead and summon Aether, summon Karaz, you know, send two, send your, your Pantheism, get to search and all of that. Uh, Karaz will summon, you know, blow up some of your cards and draw it, get deeper into your deck. Like I said, the quicker you get these four cards, the quicker that you can go ahead and win. So, uh, three Eidos, three Idea. Uh, you probably don't need three of each, but, I, you know, as I've been playing Monarchs, I've been probably playing three of each. If you want to, you can cut them. Uh, the temporary time that it was on uh, Daily Duels last tagging with Stanzi, and I was cheating and playing um, uh, Cheater Leaf, uh, I took out one of each and then the Rota, and then I ran Triple Cheating Leaf, and then I took out the Reckless and ran Pot of Cupidity. And then, I mean, it worked. I mean, I played Pot of Cupidity and Mule to crap to my deck, but I drew into the card that I needed. And at that point, I didn't give a fuck. It's just summoning you, and you do not give a fuck. So if you want to play Pot of Cupidity in this deck, hey, more power to you. And, of course, we play our uh, Pantheism, freaking broken. Uh, you can actually play Grudge in here, because we actually have some Monarchs. If you want to go ahead and play Erebus in here, then more power to you. But, you know, reveal, go ahead and get your search. That's great. Upstart, because, yeah, it's Upstart. Uh, two Magical Mallets. I do, sometimes I draw them to shit that I don't need, and, you know, if I have extras of any of the four cards, I will gladly go ahead and take the Nag Magical Mallet, shuffle them back, and get hopefully get into the four cards that I need, so... Uh, then two domain. Uh, it's not really a modern deck. Like mostly, you're going to be activating this card, like reducing uh, Aether, summon Aether, send two, summon Kraz, and Kraz will pop itself and pop the domain, draw two. You know, as simple as that. So, uh, yeah. So you really don't need three. That's why it's two. Reckless. Just stack triple Reckless. Draw more. You know, I don't care about drawing next turn as long as I get to go ahead and get my shit now. So, then uh, I already talked about escalation, and then the 
the prime. I still am only running one. Probably the worst monarch player, but I feel like I really don't need, especially in this deck. Like, why do I want to shuffle shit back? Like, I'm trying to thin my deck and get to my card. Like, I don't need to fucking put shit back in my deck, shuffle, and then redraw the shit that I just shuffled. Like, no, thank you. So, uh, yeah, there is one of the decks. Uh, this is Zushin Monarch, so let me go ahead and show you the Sakier version. Alright, so this is Zushin Draw. So, pretty much, it's kind of like an Exodia deck. I don't give a shit about what my opponent does. I don't care. All I want to do is just draw and summon Zushin. As simple as that. So, uh, pretty much the gist of this deck is to have Zushin, thin your deck as much as possible, and then use proceed to use these magical mallets to then... Shuffle the Zushin back, redraw them, and then keep on revealing to put more counters. So, you know, for example, if I have three Zushins in my hand, I can go activate Zushin, put on a counter, activate Zushin, put on two counters, activate Zushin, put on three counters, activate Magical Mallet, shuffle them back, redraw them, activate Zushin, put on a counter, put on a counter, put on a counter. So, you're pretty much trying to deck thin your deck and draw in so much as possible. Summon the Key Mace, which the real reason why what's up with Key Mace is how it was the normal monster that was used to summon Zushin in the, in the anime. So, yeah, Key Mace. Uh, you keep on shuffling them back, keep on redrawing Zushin, then you get all ten of your counters, tribute off, bam, there's Zushin, you know? So, uh, it's kind of looking like an Exodia deck, you gotta you got admit that. So, one key mace, because you summon that one Zushin, you pretty much win. Simple as that, unless, you know, your opponent takes a defensive play and tries to deck you out, but we have we have means to solve that. Uh, card card D, summon it, draw two, you already know, the, the, the balanced pot of greed, it's not pot of cupidity, like, no. Uh, one battle fader. Uh, the reason why I went with one battle fader is, uh, you know, there's a lot of cards that I draw during my opponent's turn, and while I am playing Threatening War or Wabaku just for the chain, uh, sometimes I don't have them, so um, I have like a butt ton of draw cards. Like I'll play this and play this and then chain this and activate this and then, you know, so I'm playing a whole bunch of draw cards. I draw into a whole bunch, and then, you know, I didn't set any Threatening Roars or Wabakus, and I could easily die. So if I draw into the battle fader, some of my battle fader block, you know. Uh, then triple Zushins, like I said. Uh, you can reveal all three and put three counters, simple as that, one upstart, uh, substart, one, one day apiece, because it's a sacky ass card, I don't care if you draw, I care about drawing and I care about not taking damage, so, you can draw as many cards as you want, opponent, because once I drop that Zushin, I win, so, GG, you know, uh, then Magical Malice, the core of the deck, you just keep on shuffling back positions, get rid of them, putting more, uh, counters, pod duality, you know, really top card, get what I need, uh, you don't switch summon too much. You know, it's only it's only gonna kind of hurt when you're prepared to summon Zushin when you got your ten counters. But outside of that, I mean, so it's only gonna happen one of the many turns that's gonna take. Uh, one Moon Mirror Shield just in case Queen Mace doesn't get all the counters in one turn. You can play Moon Mirror Shield so your opponent can't attack over it. Like I can't guarantee you it's gonna survive by a monster effect or anything along those lines. But at least your opponent can't just simply just attack over you. So uh, then Triple Wabaku, Triple Threatening Roar. I mean, come on, it's a Saki ass sack. Uh, Legacy of Yadagaratsu, Dry of Greed, draw, draw, draw. Uh, Reckless Greed, draw, draw, draw. <laughs> uh, Hope First Escape, so you kind of take some damage on the chin, which is fine, you know. Uh, keep it sparingly, then play Hope First Grape and draw some more cards, simple as that. And uh, Accumulated a Fortune, so Chen Link 4, uh, with different card names, and then draw 2. So it's pretty much a, a pot of greed, as long as you can get Chen Link 4 with. You know, and with Jar, Yada, Hope, Threatening, Reckless, you're probably going to get this. And then the last two tech cards, we have All Out Attack, so all special monsters are changed to uh, face up attack position and must attack if able to turn their summon. So pretty much you play this, they summon special summon Zushin, they have to attack, so like that. Uh, there's another card, I forgot the name of it. Uh, uh, it's another continuous trap where uh, monsters are changed to attack position and attack, so pretty much the same thing. Uh, and just in case, because you're going to be going through your deck really quick to summon that Zushin, and then your opponent's going to try to stall you out, you can just be like, no, let me go ahead and play Localized Tornado. So usually this card is terrible. Uh, shuffle all the cards from your hand and graveyard back into your deck. That sounds like fucking trash, but once I get Zushin, I don't give a fuck. So I uh, play this, shuffle all my cards back, and now look it, I got Zushin for many more turns. I pretty much just reset the duel for myself, except, you know, uh, Zushin is unaffected by card effect, so, you know. Well, it's not even cards on the field, it's just cards in the hand in the graveyard, so. Zushin's still on the field, being a threat while I just shuffled all my shit back, so yay. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Like I said, both decks are just kind of sacky, kind of boring resident sleeper, and I really didn't enjoy my time uh, with them. I, like I said, they were just the most consistent and best ways to actually summon Zushin, I wanted to produce Zushin. And while I probably could have came out with my opponents with a deck full of normal monsters, and I just could have kept on trying to mass spam some of normal monsters and keep on putting counters, 
and eventually the end result would have just been kind of meh. So, uh, there you go. So, if you want to play either one of these two decks, have fun. And by have fun, I mean fall asleep. You know, fuck, you know, some uh, some Night Quill. Just play this deck and you'll be lights out. <laughs> So, uh, I guess, thank you guys for putting on Daily Duels. I, it was interesting, it could, just came out, and we wanted to see it. We saw it, and it was it was just... Mm. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed, uh, and if you haven't seen already, uh, the deck replacing it, that Pure Kaiju is already up, so check that video out. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys uh, next week with some more Daily Duels. Alright, thanks for watching.